Hi, welcome to watch our report. This is Ma with Xinhua News Agency. Well, in today's program, you will watch an exciting wellness training for Siberian tigers in the world's largest breeding center for this endangered species. Well, the zoologist will introduce wild game to tigers for hunt, and the training mainly targets at the tiger cubs. And in order to help them become more efficient predators and help them regain their wildness. Well, guys, I welcome you to join us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And you can leave comments if you like our program. You can also share with your friends. Well, look at our environment. Actually, this is a tourist bus in Heilongjiang Siberian Tiger Park in northeast China's Heilongjiang Province. Well, this park is the home of over 500 tigers and is one important base of the world's largest breeding centers for this endangered species. Well, actually, now we are already in the park, and the only distance between us and the tigers is the bus window and the bus doors. Well, a little bit excited. Well, guys, you don't need to worry about me, and you don't need to worry about the security because strict measures are adopted here, and everybody is quite safe here. So relax. And now we are on our way to the training place. Well, the park workers tell us that the summer wildness training had started since early July, and the public could also have opportunities to watch such training, just like me, on such a tourist bus. Well, you can see now it is already summer, and it's quite hot here, and with the temperature above 30 degrees Celsius. Well, the tiger don't like the hot weather either, so. Now they are very clever, and most of them are resting under the cool place. And on our way to the training place, maybe we can see some tigers lying on the ground. And now we are on our way to the training place. We are lucky enough to find the tigers. See, they are resting under the cool place. Well, the tigers are very clever. Because it's hot weather now, the temperature is above 30 degrees Celsius. The tigers don't like the hot weather either, so they are very clever. They, most of them rest and under the cool place. So we just uh, try to find them if we are lucky enough. Well, the park workers tell us now the most of the tigers are resting but later when the training starts and most of them will come out well we can see the environment in this park many grass many trees a very good habitat space for the tigers Well, the summer wellness training started since early July, and the public also has opportunities to watch the training like us on such a tourist bus. See? Very cute. Lying on the ground while sleeping. Well, you see, different doors. So guys, don't worry about us because strict measures have been adopted in this park. So everybody is quite safe, even if the only distance between tigers and us are the bus window and the bus door, but everybody is safe here, so relax. Well, tigers, see? Hello, 
tiger. Oh, very cute. So if you are lucky enough, you can find some tigers resting in the park. Well, preying on lab animals is an important part of the training. Well, zoologists usually through live animals such as chickens, ducks, birds, as well as some meat such as beef, mutton, to improve their predation ability. Well, it not only improves their physical strength, but also improve their predation ability and help them regain their wildness. Well, now we are already arriving at the training place. Well guys, you are watching a wellness training for Siberian tigers in the world's largest breeding center for this endangered species. Well, the zoologist introduced the wild game for tigers to hunt. Well, the main targets of this training is the tiger cubs in order to help them become efficient predators and help them regain their wildness. And our program is broadcast on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and you can leave your comments. If you like our program, you can share with your friends. Well, as you watch the wildness training, I give you some background information. For some people, Siberian tigers is very strong and even considered as the king of the animal. Actually, Siberian tigers is one of the world's most endangered species. Well, less than 500 wild Siberian tigers are believed to exist in the world. Well, Siberian tigers, also known as Amok tigers, mainly live in East Russia, Northeast China, and the northern parts of the Korea Peninsula. And now, it is believed that only 20, only 20 wild tigers live in China. And China has intensified protection efforts in recent years to save this species. In the year 1986, China began a captive breeding program for the tigers. The Hongdao Hezi Filai Breeding Center was established in Northeast China in the year 1986. And at the beginning, it has only eight tigers, but through years' efforts, it has developed into the world's largest breeding center for this endangered species and now it is the home of over 1,000 tigers. Well, the Hongda Hot Feline Breeding Center consists of two major parks and one is located in Mudanjiang City in Northeast China Pyongyang Province while the other one is Heilongjiang Siberian Tiger Park is the place where we stay now.
Well, guys, you are watching an exciting wellness training for Siberian tigers in the world's largest breeding centers for this endangered species. Well, do all just introduce the wild game for tigers to hunt? Well, guys, I hope you enjoy our program so far. This is Heilongjiang Siberian Tiger Park in northeast China's Heilongjiang province. And this park is the home of over 500 tigers and is an important base of the world's largest breeding centers for this endangered species. Well, some people may raise the question, why not just directly release these captive bred tigers into the wild? Well, it's not that simple. Because we must make sure that these captive bred tigers, they possess the survival ability in the wild. We must make sure that they can reproduce naturally and their offspring can survive in the wild. Well, the breeding center carried out such large-scale wildness training since the year 2000. And so far, about 600 captive bred tigers already participated in this training program, and they have benefited a lot. For example, their running speed, their hunting skill, and their mating skill have improved. And the ultimate goal is to release these captive bred tigers into the wild to restore their population. And the breeding center will also select certain tigers to participate in more advanced training program. Well, the park workers tell us the summer wellness training has begun since early July. And the public also has opportunities to watch the wild training just like us on such a tourist bus. And after the tour bus, visitors could step into a corridor, another zoo in the park for the public to watch tigers. Now let's go there. Okay, now we already arrived at the corridor and another zone for the public to watch tigers. Wow. Well, we can see there are a lot of tourists here. Well, there's a quite long corridor for the public to have a close watch of the tigers. See, we are lucky enough and to find some lazy tigers. Very cute, like big cats. Well, in this zone, the tigers are more quiet and are more like big cats and different from the wildness training. And just uh, now we see a lot of tourists come here. It is hoped that the people's protection awareness of tigers could be improved through the visit 
and to acquire more knowledge of the tigers. Ah, we are lucky enough to find a lot of tigers, you see, because now it's hot here and the temperature above 30 degrees Celsius. Well, tigers are very clever and uh, they like resting under the cool place. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy our program so far. And this is Heilongjiang Siberian Tiger Park, an important base of the world's largest breeding center for this endangered species. Well, we can see there are a lot of foreign tourists here. Well, some people may raise the question, even these tigers regain the survival capacity, where to release them? Well, China has been thinking solutions for this and has made efforts for years. Well, the ecosystem in northeast China has greatly improved thanks to a forest protection program which was launched in the year 1998 and the commercial logging in state forests in northeast China was banned since 2015. Therefore, more habitat space have been provided for the tigers. There is also good news that so far this year there have been about 80 tiger cubs born in this breeding center and it is expected to welcome about 100 tiger cubs by the end of this year. Well, they will be the fifth generation since the breeding center was established in the year 1986. Well, actually in the breeding center there is a zone specially for the tiger mothers and the tiger babies. Well, guys, if you have the interest, if you want to visit, you can leave your comments. Maybe in the near future, we can do another report about this. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hello. Well, we can see there are a lot of tourists. So we can see that people love tigers. Well, China has intensified protection efforts in recent years for saving this endangered species. And in the year 1986, China began a captive breeding program for Siberian tigers. And the Hengdao Hezi Feline Breeding Center was established in Northeast China in the year 1986. At the beginning, it has only eight tigers. But now, through years' efforts, it has developed into the world's largest breeding center for this endangered species. And now it is the home of over 1,000 tigers. And the Hengdao Hezi feline breeding center consists of two major parks. One is located in Mudanjiang city in Heilongjiang province, while the other is Heilongjiang Siberian Tiger Park, is the place where we stay now. While the breeding center also expects to develop cooperation with international organizations in order to improve the species gene quality as pure genes is essential to protect the tigers. While the breeding center has adopted strict measures to prevent inbreeding and it also established a family tree for each tiger based on DNA data and DNA test has been conducted on each tiger in the breeding center since the year 2000. Well, besides genes, cooperation on wilderness training and scientific research is also expected. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy our program so far. And this is Heilongjiang Siberian Tiger Park in Northeast China's Heilongjiang province. And if you love tigers and if you have interest, you can also come here to have a close touch with the tigers, to acquire more knowledge about tigers. Well, that's the program for today. And thank you for joining us. See you next time. Bye bye.